Okay, Matrix, we're going to be looking at this total surface area and volume worksheet that I gave you the other day. So, let's have a look at it. You've got to work out the total surface area and the volume of each of these shapes. All measurements are given in centimeters. Something that I forgot to mention in these instructions is with any questions where there are curves, so the circles, then we are going to be using the pi value of 3,142. I was a little bit neglectant to say that. Alright, so we need to take a look at the very first one over here. So, what we are looking at here is some sort of little house shape. We know that we need to break these things up into some pieces, so I'm going to be doing a little bit of cutting up of these things. So let's just start off with, okay, well let's head this first. So this is TSA and volume. You always need to have your headings for these things. <clears throat> Alright, so number one, we know that we are going to look for the total surface area. So the total surface area is always going to be equal to two times, I'm just going to call it A of base, because it is uh, it's just saving us some space there, plus the perimeter of base multiplied by h. Okay, it's always a good idea to work out the uh, area of the base separately because it can be useful for our volume things. Okay, so let's take a look. Um, I'm going to draw on this just so that we can break up our base. My unique shape is going to be this house shape over here. So what I see is a measurement here of 5. So I'm going to assume that's 5, which means this piece here needs to be 2. That is the height of my triangle. Okay. Same time, my triangle is going to have a base of 4. So we can use these measurements then for our workings. So the thing that we are going to have is, let's take a look at this again. 4 times 5 for that, and then half base times height for this. I'm not going to write out the formulas here because I think you know the area of a triangle or rectangle <laughs> well enough. So I'm going to take my 4 times 5, or so 4 times 5, length times breadth, plus half of the base, which is going to be 4, multiplied by the height, which is 2. Okay. So that covers our area of the base, and then our perimeter. We're given a couple of things here, so we're told that it's 4, and then 5, 3, 3, 5 again, and my height is going to be 10. So my perimeter I will have is 4, plus 5, plus 3, plus 3 again, plus 5. If you're ever in doubt of whether or not you've got all the sides, just count the sides of the shape. And if it adds up to the numbers that you're adding up, you are generally in the right place. Okay, so if we do this then, so 2 times 4 times 5 plus a half times 4 times 2, I'm going to get 24. I need to double that, so that gives me 48 for my area there. And then over here, I've got 4 plus 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 5 times 10, which gives me 200. So my total surface area in total here is 248. And they give us the measure, uh, the unit, unit of measure, which is centimeters. So it's going to be centimeters squared. Very good. Then my volume is going to be very straightforward. I've really got the area of my base. 48, and I've got the height. So area of base times height, it's going to give me 480 centimeters, and because it's volume now, it's going to be cubed. All right, nice and straightforward type of question there. No, no worries. Okay, moving on to question two. If we take a look at this shape, we have a block with a slot cut in it. If you watched my other video on calculating these complex shapes with this, 
this over here is going to be the base of the triangle that's being cut out. If this entire length is 6, and that is 2, and that is 2, so we can assume that that is also 2, and that is also 2, those are both 2, that means that that over there should be 2 as well. Okay, that should be 2 as well, which makes it a little bit easier. So I'm going to take the area of this rectangle, and I'm going to need to subtract the area of the triangle from it. Once again, I'm not going to write out any formulas for you. You should be at least clever enough to be able to figure that one out. So, total surface area equals 2 times the area of my base. So, I've got 2 times 6 over here, minus half times my base. My base is going to be 2, and my height is going to be 1. Then we need to take into account the sides here. So it's going to be 6 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1 and a half plus 1 and a half plus 2 plus 2. So the perimeter, as I said, was 6 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1 comma 5. Let's just check you can still see that. Yes, plus 1 comma 5 plus 2, and plus 2, and I've run out of space here, so we know that that needs to be multiplied by 6, and apologies about running out of space. So, <clears throat> if we multiply all of that together, we have 2, uh, with 2 times 6, minus a half times 2 times 1, basically that, Okay, so 2 times 6 will give me 12, 12 minus which is 1 will give me 11, so I have 22 as my base over there. And then if I want my area here, 6 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1.5 plus 1.5 plus 2 plus 2, that gives me 17, let's just double check that. Two that's 10, 13, 13 plus 4 is 17, 17 times 6 will give me 102. So my total will be 124 centimeters squared. The volume is going to be nice and straightforward again, one of those simple ones. I've already got the area of the base as 22. So I just take 22 multiplied by the height, which is 6, and 22 times 6 is going to be 132. 132 centimeters cubed. Remember, we have to use the correct things there. Okay, now we are about halfway. Okay, let's move on to question 3 then. Question three, a little bit more of a, a tricky one. We've got the two shapes that have been stuck on top of each other. The circle or well, cylinder here fits exactly on top of my block here. I have been given a radius of two, so I know that if the diameter, if the radius is two, the diameter is four. So this is touching side to side, side to side. And I'm going to save myself a little bit of trouble here because I know that this area here, let's color that in, and this area, and this area, and this area, and the bit that you can't see behind, that all will count as the area of the top of this square here. So, I'm going to ignore this part in my, in my thing, because that is a shared area twice over. So I can ignore that. So what I'm going to do is make a more simple formula, which I will write out for you. My more simple formula. My total surface area is going to be 2 times the area of the base of the bottom. All right. That is the, the bottom block. And then I'm going to add the perimeter of the base 
times the height. And to it, I need to add just the bit that goes around the outside here. So just this, this band. And I know because it's a cylinder, it's going to involve pi. So I need the circumference, so 2 pi r. Okay, and multiply it by the height of the cylinder. Okay, get that into shot. And I'm just going to go and put my numbers in here now. So with my substitution, it's going to be 2 times 4 times 4 plus uh, 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 multiplied by 3, which is the height of my block. Then 2 times 3 comma 1 4 2 my radius, which was given to me as 2, and multiply that by the height of the block, which is 3. So, <clears throat> if I do all my calculations correctly, I should be able to get do the correct thing 4 times 4. So we're going to have 32 plus 4 times 4 times 4, or 4 plus 4 plus 4 is 16. 16 times 3 is going to give us 48. For that part and then this part 2 times 3.142 2 times 3 which gives me 37,704 I'm not going to round off until I get to my final answer here so if I add up all of these together I should get to a result of 117 comma of well, 117 comma 704 centimeters squared. You could round that off to 117 comma 70. We'll drop the zero if you want. The volume is going to present a bit of a different problem. Because it's two blocks, we're going to have to take volume of block one and volume of block two and add them together. So my volume of block one, my block one I assumed was the bottom one, so it's going to be length times breadth times height plus, and then the volume of a cylinder is pi r squared times height. So length times breadth, <coughs> length times breadth times height, four times four times three. Then my pi value, which I use is 3,142, multiplied by the radius, which I was told is 2, which I'm going to square, multiplied by 3. Right. So 4 times 4 times 3 is going to give me 48. And then I have to have 3,142. <coughs> multiplied by 2 squared multiplied by 3 which will give me 37 comma 704 all right so if we add those two together we get 85 comma 704 which you could probably round off to 85 comma 7 centimeters cubed Beautiful. Okay. So, remember that with a shape like this, because these parts would have, well, this circle here would have had to be subtracted twice from there, I can just actually ignore the whole ends of these two uh, parts of the cylinder and just go straight for that. So, it's a simpler type of question. Okay, we're going to look at question four now. <clears throat> so, Look at question four. If I look at my picture for question four, I have a block shaped like this. There are two semicircles on either side and a rectangle in the middle. Actually, with these measurements, it's a square. If I am clever here, I can notice that if I have two semicircles, I actually have an entire circle here. So what I have is a rectangular prism with a split cylinder on it. And I can use this to my advantage so that I don't have to do anything too weird in the calculations. 
The important thing is, if I'm working with a circle, I need the radius. So if this is 4 across here, I know that my radius here will be 2, because it's half of the diameter. Okay. So, let's be a little bit smart here. Go to our formula. Alright, so, my total surface area. I'm going to need the area of the base twice over, so 2 times the pi, pi r squared, that is going to be my circle, and then I'm going to add to it the end piece, that little length times breadth. also need the perimeter of the whole thing, so 2 pi r for the circumference of the circle, plus the first side, plus the second side, <coughs> All of that multiplied by the height of everything. If I read off my thing correctly, and I'm going to have to use 3,142 as pi, multiplied by my radius, which is going to be 2 squared, plus 4 times 4. And add to it 2 times 3,142 plus. Uh, no, 2 pi r, I need to multiply that by 2 as well, and I add my two sides to it, which were 4 plus 4, everything multiplied by 5. Get out the old calculator, and let's get cracking. 2 times 3.142, multiplied by 2 squared, plus 4 times 4, should give me 57,136. Okay. And then the next part is going to be 2 times 3.142 multiplied by 2 plus 4 plus 4. Everything multiplied by 5. Okay. Which will give you 102,84 there as our, our general. Alright, and we just need to add those together. Notice I have not gone and done any sort of uh, simplification here yet. That's completely unnecessary at this moment. So 157.136. It should have 159,976 which I'll round off to two decimal places, 159,98 centimeters squared. Once again, I'm going to use my trick for my volume. I've already got the area of my base here, so 57,136, and I can just multiply that by the height. And that will be Two hundred and eighty-five comma six eight centimeters cubed. All right, so that is the end of this worksheet, and I think we have done a good job here. All right, thank you very much.